Hey now, I'm Chris, one of the transmission product managers here at SunX. You're probably familiar with the 6L80 and 6L90 products we offer, like valves, shafts, and even complete reman valve bodies. These units also include electrical components, and I'd like to introduce you to one of those available from SunX. This is a Tecum, a transmission electrohydraulic control module that is bolted onto every 6L80 and 6L90 valve body. Replacements are available new from OEM, but like a lot of original parts, they are expensive and sometimes hard to get. Now there's a better, more affordable option for a top quality repair. You can get a Sonax remanufactured Tecum. We've developed a process to effectively clean and repair used cores, then test them on state-of-the-art equipment to guarantee function. The result is a remanufactured Tecum that's just as reliable as new OE. For the 6L80 and 90 units, we offer two Tecums, typically found in the 2010 to later Cadillacs, Chevys, GMCs, and Isuzu's. Identify which one you need by pulling the original module from the vehicle and looking for its part number, here. Then match your number to the OE numbers listed for the remanufactured Tecums at Sonex.com. Keep in mind that the OE part numbers and years, makes, and models that they cover can change over time, so it's always best to double check our website before you place an order. So this is a big deal. Finally, there's a great alternative to buying an expensive new Tecum, and the obvious question is, how does Sonix guarantee a top quality product? Everyone's familiar with rebuilding valve bodies. This happens to be a remanufactured one from Sonix. While they are complex, they can be disassembled so internal components can be tested and repaired. Tecums are more like a black box that combines the capabilities of a standard transmission control module, also known as a TCM, with solenoids and sensors. It's a computer that acts like the brains of the transmission monitoring operation and directing the electrohydraulic components for a smooth driving experience. As you can imagine, a computer that controls so many things can have many issues. Common signs of Tecum malfunction include electrical circuit failures related to valve body solenoids, all kinds of trouble codes associated with gear ratio, solenoids, TCC, internal memory and temperature sensors, and of course, poor shift quality. Even more frustrating, there's no clear or effective way for shops to evaluate whether a Tecum is okay. When no other source of the transmission complaint can be found, replacing the Tecum is often the only option. That's an expensive repair with a potentially long wait if you buy new from OEM. This is why Sonics developed a way to remanufacture the 6L80 and 90 Tecums. Our process starts with a used core like this one. Since dirt and debris are leading causes of failure, we remove and discard the old filter plate and pressure switch seals and films. Sludge also hides under the cover of the TCM, so it's removed and cleaned. The entire Tecum is then ultrasonically washed and the solenoids thoroughly flushed to ensure buildup is removed from every nook and cranny. A resistance test is performed to verify that all solenoids are functional and don't need repair or replacement. Then, new pressure switch components and a new filter screen are installed. Finally, the Tecum is fully electrohydraulically tested to ensure it meets or exceeds OE performance. Sonex technicians and engineers spent many hours and thousands of miles behind the wheel using data acquisition equipment to understand how the Tecum performs under various driving conditions. They then created a custom simulated test using those same varied driving conditions so that we can test our remanufactured Tecums both hydraulically and electronically. Test results are compared to new OE for consistency. This simulated drive test validates all TCM communication, each solenoid and pressure switch, and the fluid temperature sensors. If it doesn't pass the test, it doesn't leave our facility. Each Tecum comes with complete installation and road testing instructions. This includes directions to use a J2534 device for quick flashing. Since the original vehicle VIN was programmed into the Tecum by the OEM, it needs to be overwritten with the VIN of the new vehicle it's being installed into. Shop technicians will follow the same J2 pass-through procedures they would with the OE. So next time you're working on a 6L80 and 6L90 transmission with a questionable Tecum, remember there's an affordable, reliable solution. Ask your parts distributor for a Sonex remanufactured Tecum. Our install instructions also include tips for diagnosing other transmission complaints. If you do need more parts for the job, there's a range of Sonix repairs and upgrades to choose from. Check them out at sonix.com or get in touch with our tech support team. 
they'll be happy to help explain other options. Thanks for your time. Remember to follow us on Facebook or sign up for email alerts to get the latest on new Sonics products.